Okay, since we're not delivering this personally, we're making you a video guide of how to use the trailer. So basically this is your VW vending trailer. It has a real antique lock on it, which is touchy. It is a simple quarter turn to unlock it. So insert, quarter turn up, push the button. It should open. There it goes. If the lock stays out like so, simply flip the switch, you see it drops back in and is flush. Before stepping in the trailer, because this trailer is so light, if you step in there and weigh more than about 150 pounds, you will launch the front end up. So what you want to do is grab your leg jack. The leg jack is extremely simple. Come to the rear of the trailer. You'll see that I've already got it down. I've been in the trailer. Simply insert it in and crank up or down, left or right. There are four. One, that's the up position on the rear. And there are two on the front. Definitely want the rear ones down anytime you're in the trailer and it is not hooked up to a vehicle because the nose can go up on you. You definitely want them up all four when you're moving so that you don't catch them on anything. It's very simple to operate. It's just a simple twist. So once you have at least one rear leg down, you can go into the trailer. It's a very simple trailer. We've left some cabinets in there. If you don't need them, you're welcome to throw them away if they're in your way. We've left you a few supplies that you will need. First thing you want to do is go up with the roof. It's very complex. Press up. You'll see the roof opening slowly. It has a brand new AGM battery. I installed it today, so you should be good to go, no problem. The mechanism cuts off automatically. Not quite automatically. Yeah, automatically when it reaches the top. So just go up until it stops. Now, to put the serving counter down, there's simply two latches. Unlatch, unlatch, and carefully drop down. Don't just push it, let it fall because it does catch just by a wire. And now you're open and you're ready for business. If you do not like the uh, sun guard, it can all be taken out. It is a little bit tedious, but it just slides out these little channels and then slides back in. When bringing the roof down, you wanna make sure that these come inside and don't fold outside. Otherwise you can get a gap. So I'll show you that shortly. So go ahead and put this, I'll leave that. So here's your control center. It's very simple to operate. Turn this little guy perpendicular and it pops down. You have all your fuses right here. It is very simple. There's very little of this you should have to deal with. You can turn all the breakers off so that if you're hooked on shore power, which I'll talk about later, everything is off in the trailer even though it's still plugged in. That's basically all your controls. And then again, just twist that little guy. If you need to get in to the CPU, there's no good way to do it. Just kind of put your fingers underneath there and just tug a little bit and you'll feel it pop out. And there you go. It is very simple. Like I said, this is a brand new battery. Just installed AGM deep cycle battery. It's made to run the canopy. It does not run the outlets. Just slam that back. You have outlets here at the nose and again at the nose. So that's six total outlets. They all run off of shore power. That brings us to our power cords. This is just an ordinary extension cord. You can run it to plug it into the wall or you can plug it into a generator. This is your proprietary cord. This is basically an RV type of hookup. So what you do is take this to the front of the trailer and you'll see this little hatch. Pop the hood on the hatch line up the um, plugs here better than I'm doing there it is there's one that's this is your mark sorry this is your your marker plug and you can see it's got the similar little notch so once you get that plugged in screw that on 
simple, ordinary plug. Make sure to remove that for travel. Towards the nose, I'll give you an idea. This is, we have this as a theft deterrent. This is not theft proof. If you have it in a lock, you'd want something a little more robust than this because this could be banged off with a hammer. It's your chains for someone to the trailer or for attaching to the trailer. This is a seven pin um, harness right here that will go into your tow vehicle. This is a modern called seven pin or RV style. This leg system, you pull this pin when you have it hooked to the car and the leg system simply folds down flat and is in line. It does not stay like this. It turns perpendicular. Give you an idea of how um, light this trailer is. If I didn't have the back leg down, I'd lift it up. Here's an idea of what you're looking at in terms of the vehicle when it's open. So, I mean, aside from three more legs, this is pretty much set up. Very simple vehicle. Let's go down, closing it down. Once again, simple. One person can just pull the decking up, making sure these wires don't get caught inside. You have a simple latch. A simple latch, clearly on this side. You're gonna to need to pull forward just a little bit. There you go. So now the tricky part, lowering the roof. You will see See how the curtains are folding in. You just want to make sure they're all folding in. If they're not, go up there and give them a little tug and they'll simply come down. If anything catches, one starts to go out of sync. A leg is not lowering at the same speed. Stop, go back up and come back down. You saw that nose corner came down a little bit late, but that's okay. And it turned off automatically so I didn't over lower it or anything like that. It's good to go. Then you want to do a little quick check. Make sure no fabric it's coming through anywhere and you're good to go. Yep, I've left tape on. This is for the monitor mounts. I don't want any water to get in here in transit. I don't know if it'll do anything, but let's just keep it out. So when we send it back, we can tape up those holes again, just with any kind of tape. This is vehicle wrap. Actually use the vehicle wrap. I'll leave some in the vehicle for you and you'll be good to go. That way it won't leave any adhesive or anything like that. But underneath there are those, just those little holes that we discussed. Locking the vehicle is fairly simple. Just come in and shut it. We'll send you a full set of keys. Again, it's just a quarter turn. If you go more than a quarter turn, it will go past that quarter turn, and you're literally just moving the mechanism inside. I've taken this whole lock off, disassembled it, put it back together. It's an easy fix if it gets out of sync, but be a little bit gentle and just remember the quarter turn. Now you push and nothing happens. Up, oh, and you've got your rear access. So, 90 degrees. You can feel it catch when, it's, when it locks. There you go. There's a simple latching mechanism, and then once you have it 90 degrees, turn the key 180 degrees, that bad boy is locked. You're good to go, and the trailer is locked up.